Hi, I'm Jay with Wheatstone, and today we're going to talk about our legacy program, Glassy. If you are an LX24, an E6, an E1, 4, or 5 customer, and you want to remote control your existing Wheatstone hardware, Glassy is the program for you. So today what we have set up is we've got a local LX24 here, and uh, we're going to show you the operation of Glassy, how to connect to a surface. Um, we're on a local area connection here, but Glassy is a per seat license, and if you want to run that um, home on a laptop, a Microsoft Surface, you want a VPN uh, into your facility, it will work just fine as long as you touch the Wheatstone network from that VPN. Um, a lot of people will choose to take this application and run that on a local computer and use one of your popular remote applications like TeamView, BombGuard, Remote Desktop, Go to My PC, any of the, those remote apps to get basically through the public internet bypassing firewalls and, and unfortunately in some cases security. Um, so let's launch Glassy and show you all the functionality of that. So when you double click on your Glassy icon, it's going to ask you which surface you want to connect to. Here we've got a physical LX24 here. Um, we've got some audio on it. Um, so I'm going to actually connect to it. Once we do that, the program is going to read your actual hardware. So there's no configuration, there's no setup. The program's going to go out, it's going to count the number of faders, it's going to look at your screen, it's going to load your events. Um, so you're going to get a real physical and virtual representation of your console as it's sitting in the studio. You'll also see that we've broken those up into three major parts. One is going to be your monitor screen. Um, it's going to show you your program meters, your events, um, the next is going to be your fader panels. That's the one we're going to use most of the time. And then the third is going to be your monitoring section. And that monitoring section is going to be give you some controls for source selection, cue, headphone, studio stuff, stuff they're probably not going to use at the remote location. So if you want to listen to what you're doing back at the studio, you're going to have to create a stream or some type of codec feed back at uh, to the remote location so you can hear what's going on. So I'm going to arrange these screens in a, in a typical setup here where I'm going to pull the faders here, leaving a program meter here for confidence. And then over here, I've got our monitor panel. All right, our monitor panel is going to look familiar. Um, it's going to mirror the controls. So here we've got our monitor going up and down. Um, if I want to do things like bus assign, you simply click here and it's bi-directional. So if I go to the hardware here, and I start changing it, you'll notice everything's real time between the remote application and the hardware. Very minimal delay. Um, this was intended to give the operator the look and feel of their studio and all the control that they would normally have. Um, every channel's got a, a source select up here. So on channel 12, when I hit set, we've got Newburn selected in the source. If you've given them the ability to change sources at the studio, they can do that as well because all of the permissions and everything that you've set up in the studio automatically transfer to the user on the remote screen. So whether you want to control a fader up and down, do channel on off, simple bus assign, or just peek in to make sure everything's running great at the station, Glassy is the program that's going to do that for you. In addition to that, um, we've got some presets set up here that, as you'll see here, when I select presets, they'll actually change on screen. Um, anything you'd normally do on the engineering level, um, such as V-dips, mutes or tallies. So if you're locked out of your building, you need to go set up some mutes or anything like that. Glass C is going to give you the ability to control any of your E-series or your LX24 console. Thanks for watching.